Vicky Cherio here at Gallery 78 and today is Friday, June 8th and we are here um, interviewing Jessie Babin for her exhibition Smoke and Mirrors. We met Jessie early last year uh, as she was part of the uh, National Artist Program through the Canada Winter Games and she's also a recent graduate from the Nova Scotia College of Craft and Design. So, First, I just wanted to ask how, because I heard that, well, is it true that Salvador Dali, he tried um, smoke paintings before? Uh, I've heard that numerous artists have actually tried that technique. Yeah. And um, I haven't heard of anybody making it popular, though. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe this is, uh, this is my chance to try something <laughs> out that's been tried before, but it really hasn't been pushed this way. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. cool. And so now, um, how exactly do you, you make these great right. pieces? All right, so this is a bit of a strange technique, but they're done with a lighter and a candle. And basically what I do is, since you can't really hold up a flame to a drawing, what you have to do is take a board and actually take the drawing to the bottom and then lie on the floor and hold your hand up and sort of pass the uh, whatever, whatever, it's the lighter or the candle under the drawing so that it creates a soot deposit and that deposit sort of lies on the paper, and then you can sort of control it to create an image, basically. Okay, so so then, um, did you add anything to these pieces, like to get those fine, fine details? None. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing has been added. There's only been things taken away. So, okay. or there's actually you know fine marks that are mm -hmm. that are white, or that's normally anything taken away. So actually, what actually kind of jumps out is, at you is actually. Uh, negative space, which is actually, or it's the white of the paper, so it's actually kind of a, a bit of an illusion. You're so, seeing something come out at you, but it's really you're actually seeing through it. Oh, yeah, oh, that's so cool. And um, and now in these pieces, what? Um, why are they uh, all wearing sunglasses? Well, I needed something to tie all the images together, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, oh, what can I do? Mm -hmm. What can I do? And. Uh, Actually, the title of the show came to my mind first. I thought, smoke and mirrors, and I thought, there's a smoke. And I thought, what can be mirrors? And I thought, oh, sunglasses, because when you look in people's sunglasses, sometimes yeah. well, you often see your own reflection, yeah. so that's where the mirrors came in. Okay, yeah. that's what it is. Um, and then I also hear that you have um, a great piece at the Capitol in Moncton. Yes, that's I do. Um, there's five pieces, and they're really large pieces. They're a really, really long time in the making. But um, what those are is a series that started a long time ago, and there's just it didn't start as a series, but I ended up making a series. And uh, they're charcoal on paper, and they actually kind of have the same illusion as these, where um, what's often the darkest is actually kind of um, going back into space, and then what's white is coming out. Mm -hmm. But uh, with these. Um, it's the same kind of idea, what's taken out, mm -hmm. or actually no, it's not what's taken out. Uh, with the, the black drawings, it's white paper and then black charcoal. Mm -hmm. And what's white is actually the white of the paper that's really coming out at you. Mm -hmm. But uh, they sort of have the, a similar aesthetic as these, but they're a lot sharper. And they're, um, they're figurative works, mm -hmm. self-portraits, so mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, <laughs> and we hope you come enjoy the opening tonight. <laughs> All right.